Today's manga is Superhuman Era. It's a very deep story about how superheroes fight against monsters that are trying to destroy the world. There's a lot of mystery surrounding each of the characters, but what I know at the moment is the strongest superhero is Kang, a Korean high school student, but he is only one person and the monster attack is worldwide. So more superheroes are involved from the US to Italy to France to everywhere to fight this monster epidemic worldwide and bring peace. Pros, everyone has a story. In the beginning, I thought this manga would be just about Kang, the strongest superhuman, but I was wrong. Korean isn't the only place under attack, so we learn more, more about other heroes and what makes them tick and utilize their abilities to fight monsters. Next are the fights. There's a lot of detail when drawing out the fights that leave me craving for more chapters. So love the detail in the battle scenes. Cons, too many side characters. When I saw the cover and the first episode, I thought it would be all about Kang, but it isn't. This manga focuses a lot on other side characters and their battles and, and slash struggles with monsters that invade their city. Till when an overpowered boss monster comes that nobody can beat, Kang just shows up out of nowhere, starts shining blue like Goku and screams, I am the main character, Ultra Instinct, and starts throwing hands, destroying the boss monster nobody can beat. Next thing I don't like is the Mystery. Too many things I don't know where the monsters came from, why some heroes are evil, and it's taking very long to answer them, which can make me feel a bit confused and craving for more information. And for something that has more than a hundred chapters, I thought I would know way more by now. Anyway, forward for more Rex. Peace.